Thank you, Jan. We acknowledge that we are on the traditional ancestral lands of many tribal nations, including the Kickapoo, Ka, Odomazuria, Lakota, Shawnee, Wyandot, Sioux, and Osage. I am of the Osage Tribal Nation. Our ancestral territory spread throughout the Midwest and the Great Plains, and our primary homelands included Arkansas and Missouri from AD 500 to 1825. Then we were forced to move. The process of knowing and acknowledging the land we stand on is a way of honoring and expressing gratitude for the peoples who were here and are still here on these ancestral lands. This is a momentous time for the Osage Nation. The United States Mint recently issued a quarter featuring my mother, the prima ballerina Maria Tallchief, in her iconic Firebird Leap with her name Wakse Thonba, woman of two worlds represented in Osage orthography. Our Osage composer, Scott George, is nominated for a 2024 Academy Award for his song, Wajaje, a song for my people, performed by Osage tribal singers. <clears throat> the world now is learning about a tragic period of American history, the Osage Reign of Terror, documented in David Grant's book and Martin Scorsese's movie. A line from my poem, Wigia, helped to inspire the title of both the book and the film, Killers of the Flower Moon. <clears throat> I will read that poem and two more. Wigia, which means prayer in Osage, is spoken by Molly Burkhart, whose sister, Anna Kyle Brown, was murdered during the Reign of Terror. My Talchi family lived on the Osage Reservation during this time period, 1921 to 1926. The epigraph reads, Anna Kyle Brown, Osage, 1896-1921, Fairfax, Oklahoma. Wigia. Because she died where the ravine falls into water. Because they dragged her down to the creek. In death, she wore her blue broadcloth skirt. Though frost blanketed the grass, she cooled her feet in the spring. Because I turned the log with my foot, her slippers floated downstream into the dam because after the thaw, the hunters discovered her body. Because she lived without our mother, because she had inherited head rights for oil beneath the land. She was carrying his offspring. The sheriff disguised her death as whiskey poisoning because when he carved her body up, he saw the bullet hole in her skull. Because when she was murdered, the leg clutchers bloomed, but then froze under the weight of frost. During Zaga Ziga Setha, the killer of the flower's moon. I will wade across the river of the black fish, the otter, the beaver. I will climb the bank where the willow never dies. This next one is from my poem, Heritage. Heritage 10. The year my mother was born in Fairfax, Oklahoma, white men were marrying Osage women and killing them for their head rights. 
My mother was born a year after the Indian Citizenship Act was passed. Indians tied to the U.S. for or against their wills. Three years before her birth, her half-sister, baby Ruth's grave, was dynamited with nitroglycerin by outlaws scavenging for diamonds and gold buried inside the casket. In the tall chief plot, I wander through family history, the marble monuments, angelic statues, measuring each step on grass, memorizing photographs. This one of a striking beauty, my great grandmother, Eliza Big Heart Tallchief, surviving her husband by 50 years. The widow, the adored grandmother of my mother, Eliza. Only now do I see my name, a permutation of hers. At home in Chicago, every day I pass family photographs framed on walls, my great-grandfather's oval sepia portrait of his boyish face replicated on the headstone. Instead of the young bride, here is Eliza, a tribal elder, wrapped in a multicolored blanket, standing outside her front porch a photo taken after all those years she outlived him. And I will conclude with a short poem inspired by Carolyn Quintero's Osage Dictionary with thanks to Christopher Cote of the Osage Nation Language Department for providing the column in orthography. I'll read the poem in English. Typewriter. I zigzag into the world, a woman, a wolf, within my heart, an untamed horse, what do you call it? The wind. Which pathway to that star or the orbit of a star? Vapor rises off standing water. Upstairs tell untruths that of a tongue. Time is just the ticking noise against metal. Thank you very much.